Good evening. Class of 2010, let it shine. You are bright, multi-talented, conscientious, loving, kind, generous, and humorous. You enjoy and support each other. You want each other to succeed. You are like brothers and sisters in a big family. You help each other, tease each other, encourage each other, taunt each other, and you're always there for each other. Your positive karma fills a room whenever you're together. You are special and your presence on campus will be missed so greatly. Starting with your freshman year, you have raised the bar of awareness and excellence in so many areas. Consider academics. You have led the Dublin High School as a whole to the highest academic performance index score in history taking Starry's challenge to seriously do your best on the star test. As a result, your efforts brought a 44-point gain and our API scored, score soared to 842. Now you are preparing to move on and you will be attending local community colleges, technical schools, and enlisting in the military to serve our country. Out of the graduating class of 302 students, 16 of you have a grade point average between 3.8 and 3.99. 13 of you have a perfect grade point average of 4.0 or higher. Topping out, <laughs> topping out at 4.3. You have amassed a total of $493,000 in scholarships and awards. You have been accepted to the finest universities in the world. MIT, Columbia, New York University, Georgetown, Penn State, University of Texas, Gonzaga, Oregon Institute of Technology, St. Mary's College, UOP, University of Redlands, Santa Clara University, California State Universities, all of the University of California campuses, and Stanford University. And speaking of Stanford, out of a pool of 32,022 candidates from around the world who applied for the fall 2010 semester, 2,300 applications were accepted. And two of these acceptances went to seniors in the Dublin High School class of 2010. <laughs> All of this is a testament to your outstanding education at Dublin High School and throughout your years in Dublin Unified the work of your dedicated teachers, your strong work ethic, and the support you have received from the staff, your families, and the community. You have achieved your goals. Consider athletics. This class, in a four-year period, has won more league tit titles than any other class in our school's history. speech at Senior Awards Night, you have competed in a rising athletic program, including NCS finalist basketball teams, undefeated wrestlers, individual and relay records broken by the men's swim team, and a championship soccer team that won NCS for the first time in And 10 has definitely made its mark on Dublin, a mark that can never be replaced. Consider co-curricular activities. You have been part of an award-winning band, an ever-growing drama department with complex productions, student-directed one-acts, and talented improv shows. You've contributed to culinary arts banquets, video production projects receiving statewide awards and national recognition, you have competed in DECA marketing to take nationwide awards. And you have created outstanding speeches, 
outstanding publications in journalism, and outstanding publications in our yearbook, The Gala Moore. Consider community involvement. You are personally involved in promoting social consciousness. And for me, of course, the academics is the epitome. That's why we're in school. But you as a class are the most caring and giving class I have ever known in my 42 years of education. And it's the community service that notes that. You have participated politically by campaigning, walking precincts, speaking at board meetings, and continuing to care the I am Dublin slogan throughout Dublin. You have been keynote speakers at middle school honors night celebrations, addressed the freshman English classes to share insights on how to be successful, and carried yourself into the community with the fact that we are the best. Yeah! <laughs> so excuse me while I take a little sip. This is long, but as I told the graduates this morning in practice, it's long because they're so wonderful. <laughs> You have joined Riot to help solve disputes in peer mediation sessions. You have been active in elementary school volunteerism projects, youth sport camps, interact club recycling, and fundraising for global causes. You've been involved with the Youth Advisory Club and the California Scholarship Federation to tutor those who needed academic support. You've raised funds and sent notes of cheer to support our soldiers and the Relay for Life, to which you have done so much great work, has raised funding for cancer research. You turn homecoming into a citywide parade and a carnival for activities of people of all ages. Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, Eagle Scouts, you've just about done it all. In a monologue from this year's drama production, As You Like It, by William Shakespeare, there is a comparison. The world is compared to a stage, and life is compared to a play. All the world's a stage, and the men and women, merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many roles. From childhood to youth, from adulthood to second childhood, we experience a wide variety of roles in our journey through life. Class of 2010, take your place on the stage. Play the role that allows you to share your special qualities with the world. Embrace your role, embrace each other, and celebrate every phase of your life with your family and friends. Today, you are not only graduating, you are commencing the rest of your life. Blend your passion and your talent, and let it shine. Thank you.